Okay, how do I get back now? There's no way back here. The light. They have two bullets left. <laughs> this way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. This way. We need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. Damn. And then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting mm. to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my name, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. And none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You sustain. <laughs> this pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! Her sweet love Oh, crap. Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! <laughs> selfish idiot. Well, be a fool. I'll oh, use damn. the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. <laughs> at least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. I mean, sure. Mm -mm -mm. Is that it? I think so. Alright, next one's a manuscript. Let's see, what is it? The well lit room. There it is. The falling helicopter. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Next one is a supply chest after a long run. Alright. It's gonna be a while. So let's go. I 
Freaking birds, man. Later, bros. I gotta run. Checkpoint. Okay, cool. Let's go. More birds coming. And to the left of me, apparently. Site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. There's some random supplies here. Oh god! What the hell was that? Whoa, man. Oh god! Okay, 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 okay. Ow, man! Oh no! Dead. Man, I try to dodge it. Those freaking tackles, you can never do it. Hang in there, I'm coming. What? What up, bro? Face. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet <laughs> us at the dam. Right, it's just should be somewhere up here. Find out. Here we go. Oh hell yeah! Let's go. I can get this achievement. Hopefully, let's see. So that's 25 out of 30 of the supply chest. Then the next one is um gonna be in some side, some kind of pipe. Gonna be a thermos. When you spend most of your night running uphill while a crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe, <laughs> you know your helicopter crash landed in uh, Night Springs. <laughs> Freaking guy. Yo, can you go, man? Let's let's take a break, huh? Okay. Oh jeez. Here we go again. More hills. Oh, should have. I should have kept you that. You see those membership. lights? That's the elevator we need to take. You can't be a good guy. What the hell is oh, that? Thing? Oh, oh, oh. It's everywhere. Oh, crap. There's more than one of them. 
Nothing moves like that. It's impossible. <laughs> Shadows. Ah! Help! Do something. I'm trying, man. Can you move so I can? Ah, oh, this can't be happening. Wait, I think something's up. Watch out, they're coming. This is bad. This is really bad. God. Oh God. Okay. Man, why does it take two shots? Was that it? Are we safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. That was a little bit intense. Hey, Al, I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. <sighs> oh, man. Uh, this is a bad idea. I know we're gonna regret this. Wait, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. All right, that was thermos number 87. Next one is 88. And it's going to be at the top. Definitely going to have to fight while this thing freaking takes its time getting here. Heads up! Here they come! Oh, figured. Oh no! Oh no! Got him. Of course, big guy. <laughs> Later, bro. I swear this is the slowest elevator in the world. Oh, no, you don't. I think she took the kill. Damn you, lady. I'm at 48. I literally need two more. Uh, Wow, that sucks, man. No! Let's go. Let's go, damn it. Almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas, Zane, seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, well, he was real. Okay, so this one. Let's be careful, okay? Somewhere oh, geez, right there. I hate this. All right, and that's number eighty-eight out of a hundred. All right, cool. Next one is a sign, twenty-one out of twenty-five, and it's a sign that says "Notice" on it. Notice board. Where are you at? Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. Notice this officially the commission is not staffed. Every train to the dam structure without authorization is a criminal offense and may be prosecuted under local and federal statuses. Alright, so that's on sign twenty one. Cool, cool. Next was in manuscript. And it'll be soon. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Of course it is. Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll 
have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ow. Please, be careful. I'll take good care of Barry, wait. You just look after yourself. Of course. Oh, boy. And there we go. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, there we go. There's a manuscript page right there. Zane's shoebox. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Okay. Next one is a next and last one of this episode is a coffee thermos. Eighty nine out of a hundred. A little bit before I get that one, so let's go. I'm guessing I gotta go all the way over there, huh? Hmm. The darkness. Oh man. Outnumbered, the searchlight could even the odds. Oh, they just die. This is where Stop. I run. Stop now. Oh god. Okay. I'm out of here. Many, many years now. There is no shadow in the little room. 
tower is fail-safe, and all the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. <laughs> during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. <laughs> it's mine now. Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. Oh, wow. Uh, so the final page. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. So weird, man. I can get to her now. I can finish this. 